Hello, amazing people. Today's tutorial is going to be the making of a trendy, padded, stylish designers of shoulder sleeves. Welcome back to the Crafty Bee channel. If today is your first time of joining this family, you are highly welcome. If you've not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Also, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified anytime I upload a new tutorial. To my old subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to watch my video. I really appreciate you guys. So without wasting much of your time, let's get on with the video. To make this off shoulder sleeve, you need the fabric for the sleeve and I'm using this doll face satin or will I call it rather satin fabric and I'm using this for the lining and also I'm using fusible interfacing some people call it wadi it's the medium size that I'm using and this interfacing gives the sleeve the structure to stand so with me here i have a sketch of an arm so you are going to be measuring from the shoulder to your bicep so whatever you get here you add two inches so in this case my bicep is five inches so i added two inches that's seven inches so i'm going to cut seven inches for the length so the next thing is to measure around your arm on the bicep area. Then whatever you will get, you can add 3 inches, you can add 2 inches, but I'm adding 3 inches. So around my arm is 16 inches plus 3 inches, I'm going to get 19 inches. So I'm going to be cutting 7 by 19 inches. The seven is the length of the sleeve. Why I added two inches to make it seven? Because the sleeve is going to have a pleat. I'll be using one inch for the pleat on the side, in the elbow area. And the 19 inches is around the bicep area, around your arm. So I got 16 plus three inches is 19 inches. So seven by 19 inches. That's what I'm going to cut. And I'm going to use my interfacing to cut the pattern and then iron it on the main fabric. So let me start with my interfacing. Because I want the sleeve to have that structure, that standing structure, I'm going to double the interfacing on the sleeve. And I'm going to iron it on the lining not on the main fabric. So the next thing to do is to be marking the around arm. That's the wideness of the sleeve, which is going to be 19 inches. 16 inches plus three inches. And I'll square the 19 inches here again. Then I connect the line straight. Now I'm going to be marking the seven inches for the height of the sleeve. Square the line and so So this is 19 by 7 inches. So I'm going to cut it out. So I cut out the interfacing and I'm going to use this as a template to cut the lining and also to cut the main fabric. As I'll be adding half an inch all around the pattern for sewing allowance. I'm done cutting the lining and the main fabric. This is the good side and this is the wrong side. So next, I'll be going to my ironing board to iron the interfacing on the lining. So I'm going to cut one more of the interfacing to give it that structure effect. I'll be ironing the fusible part on the fabric. As you can see, I left the half inch around it. So 
so I'll be back. So I'm done with the interfacing. I iron it and I doubled it. So I'm going to be placing this on the main fabric that I've already cut. I'll place it on the main fabric. This is the good side, so the good side of the fabric and the wrong side up. So I'll be taking it to my machine and I'm going to sew not on the interfacing. I'm going to be sewing along this side on the lining. I'm going to be sewing the upper side and then the lower side. The sides, I'm not going to sew, I'm going to leave it. That's why I will be turning the sleeve out from. So I'll be taking it to my machine and sew it and come back and show you the next step. So guys, I finished sewing the upper and the lower side. As you can see, there's no stitches showing here. So I'm going to be trimming the excess off, then turn it inside out, just to open side. So this is it. The interface didn't come well. I'm turning it inside out from the side and I'm going to press it again. See how it will last well. All is because I did sew it on the interfacing. I sew it on the fabric. This is the good side, this is the front, and this is the back. See how neat and how relaxed it is. I'm going to take it to my ironing board and iron it well. Give it a good press and come back and show you the next step. So this is it after ironing. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be marking 0 0.75 on the wrong side, not the good side, this is the back. So next I'm getting my stretch ruler to mark the lines straight. So guys, I finished rolling the lines as you can see. So I'm going to be using a matching thread to run the lines. So guys, this is how our sleeve came out. This is the pleat looking very nice. And this is the wrong side where I marked the lines. Next, I'm going to be finding the midpoint of this line. And then the midpoint of this line. And I'm going to give it one inch pleat in the middle. And this side too, I'm going to give it one pleat in the middle. This serving the mid point is three and a half here. So I'm going to give it one pleat in the middle like this. One inch pleat like this. I'm going to pin it down. Then I come to this side also. So when you are pleating it, you have to measure it if it's equal. The pleat should be the same size and also should be facing towards the same direction. This is how the sleeve is looking like. So one thing I forgot, I reduced it by one inch. So I made use of 18 inches for the wideness. So I'm going to be taking it to my machine and top stitch the pleat here and do the same to this side and come and show you. So I finished sewing the pleat and this is how the pleat look like. Our off shoulder sleeve is ready. Look at the effect. Look at the effect that Stephen gave it. 
you can fix it on any off shoulder dress or blouse so guys we have come to the end of today's video consider subscribing if you've not done so and also share to your family and friends and don't forget to turn on your notifications so to be updated anytime I upload a new video thanks for watching and see you in my next video Bye.